Today, we're going to be talking about the reasons why you should have a video podcast and not the typical things that you would imagine. Obviously, um, you, you can think about this as the platform that is going to allow you to grow your audience and expand your reach, right? Which are the things that I've talked about before. And in addition to that, um, also, there is the efficiency and effectiveness of doing the video podcast because it allows you to, number one, repurpose your content. Number two, batch your content. So when you do all those things, um, you become obviously more effective and more efficient. But I want to address today, not necessarily the so intuitive things about launching a video podcast. I want to address the things that people don't think about. And some of them are, and I'm going to look here because I actually made notes for myself so I can talk through this. So the very first one is, I want you to think about this as a platform or a vehicle. You know, just the same way that you have Instagram or LinkedIn or YouTube, those are vehicles that you're using to share what you're creating, your content, right? Now, just look at it as a vehicle for now because we're gonna going to go in deep deeper into the real reason why actually people do this. And the real reason is because you have an opportunity to share your voice and share your message. So think about that. What are the things that you are inclined to share with other people so you can help them and you can motivate them? Whatever that reason may be, that is exactly why, the why you're doing this. Not necessarily because you really want to expand your reach, although yes, that is true, and you want to expand your audience, but what is more important is really that why inside of your heart, which is reaching people so you can help them in some way, right? So that's reason number one that is not so intuitive that I really want people to start thinking about and to focus on because your why is going to be that driving force, that that catalyst that is going to keep you motivated day in, day out to create that content for your audience. Now, number two is, not everyone has the courage to actually share their voice, right? So if you're considering this, this means that you are taking that step forward. Perhaps you don't feel comfortable. Perhaps you are actually very timid and you're considering doing this because you know the purpose that is behind all you sharing your content. Therefore, you're willing to take that extra step and go outside of your boundaries, go outside of your comfort zone to be able to help others. So you see the difference when you're not talking about, you know, I'm doing something for myself to grow my audience. So, but actually when you put that purpose right in front, not behind, it gives it a different perspective. It actually keeps you motivated from the heart, from the spirit out, okay? So as I was saying, once you have the courage to do this, technically you are now probably pushing yourself a little bit. And that is the zone that we call the magic zone, or is the zone where we grow because we're pushing ourselves outside of our boundaries to do something that we're not used to, to do something that we're uncomfortable. And every time we push ourselves just a little bit more, that gives us room for growth because we, we test the water, we, we grow, and then we say, well, I can push it a little more. And then you go a little bit further and so on and so forth. So all of a sudden, when you look back, you realize, wow, I am doing today things that I wasn't willing to do yesterday, or I'm doing today things that, you know, I've never thought I would do. And all of a sudden you realize, you know, I'm making progress. I'm doing something great, not only for me, but for my audience, right? So that was number two. Now, this is number three and the last one. And this one actually came from a friend of mine, John Ferreira. When I talked to him, he said, Sandy, when, when people like you and I and entrepreneurs actually are willing to share our message and help others through our communication, it's not about showing off. It's about showing up. 
So I want you to think about that and I'm going to repeat it because I absolutely love what he said. It is not about showing off. It is about showing up. So what happens is whether you know it or not, whether people are telling you that or not, there are people out there that need you. You have that one magic power that nobody else has, or if they do, you have it in a different way because you have a unique DNA, you have a unique um, superpower. Therefore, there are people out there that need that message, that need you to be there and show up, not show off, show up for them. So by you not doing that, you're doing a disservice to you and doing a disservice to your audience. So the whole purpose really at the end of the day of launching a video podcast and why I think you should have one, if you have a business, if you have a digital business today, communicating with your audience, sharing your message, helping them, motivating them, and taking this platform, this vehicle to do that is definitely the best way to do it because you're going to be sharing that message from your heart. So I really wanted to share that today. I had this need to talk to you guys about it because I, I keep getting questions from people that, you know, what is the technical piece? What is the mic that I needed? And I keep saying over and over again, all those things are important and you'll figure it out at some point. But really start from here. Start from your heart thinking about what is the message that I want to share with my audience? How can I help them? You know, there is so much going on right now in the world, not only with coronavirus, but discrimination and all these things are giving you an opportunity and a chance to speak. And this is a beautiful country where we have the freedom of speech and where we also have all these platforms that enable us to communicate with others and help others. So think about that, you know, as you are planning, what should your strategy be? What should the different vehicles be that I use to communicate my message? So I see I have a few people here and I wanted to touch base. Hi, oh my God, I have people from Brazil, from Mexico. How are you doing, Jose? <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, let me know. But um, I was just feeling really inclined to share this because I want to ensure that the people that ended up launching video podcasts ended up doing it for the right reasons, not just simply because it does help you grow your audience and expand your reach and all those wonderful things that come along with it. But the real reason is because you're here on this planet to help others. You are here in the reason why you're thinking about creating content and sharing it with your audience is because you know you can help. You know you can motivate. You know you have something within you that you can say that nobody else can say the same way. So take that opportunity and when you speak from the heart, when you're genuine and you do it for the right reasons, everything else will come along. Like you don't have to worry about that growth. It just happens. So that is exactly what I wanted to share with you guys. This is a short one today. I just wanted to take the time to, to really put a little bit of context, context into the main reason why people should um, launch a video podcast. So. Love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful Friday. And if you have any questions, feel free to jump on the DM. I actually answer my DMs within 24 hours and I'm happy to have a conversation and just call me or send me a message. Bye. Have a good weekend.